Gary, we've loaded up configuration at Porto Myers, so we'd just like to do a few laps of that. That's ready to go. Driving the simulator, you get a very similar feedback to what you do in the car. I mean, our simulator is very good, and it's probably the closest you'll get to driving a real car. The real piece that makes a difference and separates a, a two to three hundred dollar gaming station from a multi-million dollar Formula One simulator is the science and engineering that sits in the models below. You know, we do want to know what's happening at the tyre contact patch. We do want to know what the forces are. We do have to get the engine modes right because they affect the downforce on the car. We do want to know where the downforce is working when you've got steer angle, yaw and roll um, in the car. And these are not trivial things to solve. certainly tens of years chronologically to it, um, but it'll be hundreds of man years in, in software models, aerodynamics, engine mapping, tyre mapping. What are the, the factors that give the driver the sense that they're immersed in a racing experience? The relationship between McLaren Racing and McLaren Automotive is a very close one. It's helped enormously by all being housed under the same roof here at the MTC. And the crossover between ideas, technology, personnel, equipment is, is seamless and endless. Thank you very much. Don't break it. <laughs> when I'm working on the simulator, I sit in a Formula One tub, in a Formula One seat with two pedals down there, a Formula One steering wheel and gear paddles. Ready to go. Most people would find it a bit strange that we can develop a road car and a sports car, but actually we've taken a lot of cues from the world of Formula One and put them into our road car. The simulator has been essential, vital, uh, irreplaceable really in, in our projects. It saved a huge amount of time uh, and resources in our current development program. You're 100% throttle now. You get so immersed in what you're doing. You can conduct a 10 lap run, finish, and then you realize you're in a simulator. Porto Mayo is a great circuit to come and test the 12C on, both here in the simulator and also in the real world. It's a massive variety of corners, high speed straight leading into a very, very tight and slow first corner. So there's a huge amount of hard braking and second gear traction out of these slow corners. The brake steer system really works over time through turns one, two and three, really allowing the car to turn in, killing understeer, but also really helping the traction on the way out of the corners. Testing the 12C in the simulator is hugely valuable. the real thing.